in this video I'm going to talk about why it's good to measure your resting heart rate and how to do it. So I've been measuring my resting heart rate every morning since December 2016 and I started doing it after a 24 hour indoor rowing challenge after one of my friends recommended I do it to track my recovery. So tracking your resting heart rate is a really good way to monitor your recovery, your fitness levels and also your health and well-being. And looking at a reading can help you assess whether you are able to train that day and how hard you can train, whether you need some rest, if you are getting fitter and also if you're becoming unwell. Before I delve into those a little bit further, I'll tell you how to measure your resting heart rate. You can do it the traditional way by using your fingers and locating your pulse on your neck or on your wrist. But given today's technology, you can also do it on an app on your phone or using a fitness watch or heart rate monitor. I use an app on my little self-care phone called Heart Rate Free and it's a free app for Apple and Android. And it's a super clever little app. You, it shines the light on your torch. You place your finger over the camera and the light shines through your finger and then displays your heart rate on the screen. It takes about five to ten seconds and at the end of the reading it gives you your heart rate. So mine is currently 65 and I like using this app because it gives all of my readings since I started measuring my resting heart rate back in December 2016. So why do I measure my resting heart rate? I do a lot of physical exercise so measuring my heart rate gives a really good indication to see where I'm at each day and how hard I can push or if I need to take it easy. There's some mornings where I get out of bed and I feel tired and my mind is muddled and it's really easy to find an excuse not to train. So then when I measure my resting heart rate and it comes out normal, it shows that the way I'm feeling in my head is very different to the way I'm feeling in my body. And then there's the days where it's the opposite, where I get up and I'm so pumped and ready to train and I measure my resting heart rate and it comes up quite high and that gives an indication that my body is still recovering from the training session from the day before and that I either need to take it easy that day or have a rest. So the way that it works is measure your resting heart rate every morning for two to four weeks and make a note of it. I make a note of mine in my journal and it's a really good way to keep track on what is my normal heart rate and if it comes out normal to plus two or three then I know that I'm good to train and I'm pretty well rested but if it comes up five beats or more per minute higher than usual then I know that I need to take it easy or add in some more recovery and I find it really fascinating how about 50% of the time the way I feel in my head is completely different to the way I feel in my body and tracking that resting heart rate is a really good opportunity to just check in and see how I am physically. Another reason that I track it is to measure my fitness levels. Now over the years I've learned to take care of myself with my self-care, my meditation, my yoga, stretching and everything like that and as a result over the years and also I've got fitter my resting heart rate has decreased. Now in the past I've suffered with anxiety and that caused my heart rate to increase so it's really good to see over the years that it has come down and actually at this point I'll point you over to the blog that this video supports which I have added in the description box below. Head over there and there's some pictures to show you the difference of my heart rate two years ago compared to now which is super interesting. And then another good reason to track resting heart rate is to assess 
physical health. Often when the body is getting ill, the immune system ramps up and our heart rate increases in order to keep us fit and healthy. And so therefore, if my heart rate was increased for several days, it could be an indication that I may need to rest, but it also could be an indication that I'm starting to get ill. In which case, then I would certainly ease off the intensity of my exercise. It's really interesting, if there's one or two days where my heart rate is increased, and I feel as though I have been exercising hard. I take the next few days easy. I do lots of self-care, baths, walks, yoga, meditation, breath work. And within a few days, my resting heart rate comes all the way back down again. It just goes to prove that self-care is absolutely key. And then a few other things that you might find interesting. After my 24-hour indoor rowing challenge in... December 2016, it took four weeks for my resting heart rate to come down, which really goes to show how long it took my body to recover. And then after my Atlantic rowing challenge, I was at sea for 43 days, rowing 13 hours a day. It took four months for my heart rate to come down. When I got back, I was sitting at 57 beats per minute and now I'm around 48 to 49. So it just goes to show you all of that time needed for my nervous system and my body to recover. And I'll finish off with just a few tips and tricks about measuring your resting heart rate. I'd recommend doing it in the morning, sitting somewhere comfortable and doing it before you've done a lot of moving around and before you've eaten and had anything to drink because these will increase your resting heart rate. Some people do get something called white coat syndrome and that's when the heart rate increases on the basis that they know it's about to be measured. I'm certainly one of those people. So before I measure my heart rate, I take several deep breaths to just chill out and calm down. And finally, I write my result of my heart rate in my journal every morning and that way I can keep track on it and I integrate it into my morning routine so it's really easy for me to remember and it just becomes a habit. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learnt something new. I'm really keen to find out if you measure your resting heart rate or if you're going to try it as a result of this video. Please write me a comment and let me know and I do plan on making more videos like this so if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and be sure to visit the blog that this video supports, which I've put in the description. And thanks for watching.